Hello everyone, welcome to Veracitous Solutions. In this video, we will be demonstrating quick tips and tricks on various Cognos analytics features. You can add navigation path in dashboard and data module, where users can drill down and back to change the focus of their analysis by moving between levels of information. In this case, I have sales data module. So to add navigation path, you can either click on the properties and add navigation or under the data module, we have option to add navigation path. Click on the plus icon to add navigation. The concept of drill down here is the order of levels or by choosing the column to which they want to proceed. Let's take on example here to drill down on products by month. So for that drag month and then product name in navigation and click OK. In navigation path a folder will be the order of data drill down order that we have given. Now let's check it on dashboard and see how the navigation works. This sales dashboard have a component that showcases month-on-month -month growth rate by products. For example, if I want to check which were top selling products in January. So to do so just right click on bar chart and select drill down. It will redirect us to the products as per the month drill down and similarly reflects the changes on other charts also. To return on previous data levels just click on back in the chart. Now let's see another example to add navigation path in dashboard as well. Click on source icon and click on create navigation path icon. Let's say I want to see the branch wise channel sales for that a data levels like branch name and then type of channel in navigation. Now when in this pie chart suppose, we want to see the channel sales by Nashik branch. So just right click on the segment and select drill down that will give the insights on the dashboard as per the branch selection. We can also navigate back to sales distribution by branch again. For that right click on the chart and click on navigate there we can choose the branch and redirect back to it. In dashboard now you can add tooltips on charts. Let's say we want to see the units that were sold on tooltip in branch channel Y sales. In fields under the tooltip slot you can add the data point and that will be showcased on the charts. In report many times we have some scenarios wherein we need not to display information on our reports but it should be present on the back end in the reports. Let's understand it with an example. I'm having a report that is based on customer analysis. Now let's say we need not to showcase the employment status column on report but filter the report based on the employment status that are employed. To do so in Cognos reporting select the column that we need to hide. Click on properties and under the box section there is an option called box type from there select as none. This will hide the column on the report. But what if we need to check the data column when we are designing the report so for that there is another property in Cognos. Click on the three dots on right side panel and under visual aids click on show hidden objects. So this will not only hide the information on your report, it will also filter the report and retain the information on your report design. When we run the report it filtered the report for the employed customers but also the employment status information is hidden on the report. Hope this helps your business. Thanks for watching the video. For any future information connect with us on www.veracitus.com.